Hi everyone, this is a brief video on how I fixed our beautiful vintage oscillating desktop fan or, or table fan. Um, I watched a couple of videos and figured this out, so I wanted to share. In celebration uh, for the vintage age of this fan, I decided to go down to the local um, store and get a uh, Tallboy Pepsi Cola <laughs> because going to work on vintage stuff you might as well go all out vintage although sadly this is 16 ounces of 200 calories ah well I usually don't drink that crap but might as well splurge if you're unfamiliar with this fan this is the fan on low it's currently not oscillating it is a hunter Zephyr um, I kind of call it my parents fan because I'll show you the, the back of it and I'm leaving it on so you can hear how quiet it is. It has a stamp back here. And the, the most wonderful thing about this stamp is look at that. Made in the USA. Absolutely wonderful. Made in Memphis, Tennessee. It actually has um, a series number here. Which you may not be able to see, but it says A. It's stamped A. And uh, it will tell you it runs on 100 and 10 to 120 nominal volts, alternating current, and uh, off of 0.75 amps uh, at 60 cycles. So it's undetermined whether that's 60 cycles um, on low, high, or medium. I can show you here. This is the knob. You can see it's on level 3, which is low. Uh, but there are two other settings in addition to off. Everything is um, you know, re really meticulously documented. Now, if you're curious about how how many watts this thing pulls because of all of the energy efficiency, which I'm, I'm a big fan of energy efficiency as well. This is a kilowatt P3. Uh, and it's showing on the low setting it's pulling uh, about 61 watts. It's 60, 61 watts. That's pretty normal. That's generally what it does. Now, on, on high, it will get above 100 watts on setting 3. So, anyway, back to how I fix this. I'm going to turn this off so I, don't, so I don't cut my finger off. Because this is an open grill fan. Okay, you can, you can see if, if a kid were to stick their finger in there, uh, yeah, they, they'd be screaming. Um, how did I fix this? This no longer oscillated. It had um, a very simple mechanism, which is this, this arm attached to the main stand and this I could tell this uh, round piece here moved right or was supposed to move if you if you physically man manipulate it right but what I what was unknown to me until I kind of looked at the fan upside down which I, I'll try to do a little bit you can see there's two holes for the screw that attaches to the arm and this, these two holes are not equal distant. One, you can see uh, it was previously screwed into because it's a little bit worn. That is on the outer edge of the diameter of this circular rotating mechanism. The other is closer in. It's further into the center of this diameter ring. So that told me just from basic geometry that maybe the fan is, for some reason, over time, overextending itself, meaning the arm, and it, and it was getting pushed into a corner. The arm was fully extended on this outer edge, and it just could not, no longer retract. Um, for maybe due to age, I'm not too sure. But all I did was I moved the arm, so you take the screw out here, and I moved the arm into the inner hole and then it rotated and oscillated like normal. So I'll show you that now. So the way to do that is uh, there's a knob up here which you know beautifully says on off. So I'm going to turn the oscillating on which you rotate it all the way over and then I'm going to switch I'm going to actually show you high this time. So you can see now it's oscillating which is absolutely wonderful. Right there, it is oscillating back and forth. Very now, this is a little makes a little bit more noise because it is on high. 
uh, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It now oscillates on the desk without an issue. And uh, for the curious, just to verify how many watts that now pulls, actually it's not, it's not that bad actually. It's, uh, it's uh, 70 watts on high. Huh. So I think what I had seen is when it first turns on, it pulls about 100 watts when it first turns on. Let's test that. I'm going to let it spin down. Okay, so we're zeroing out. Yep. Of course, there was no energy efficiency back when these were made, right? But let's just see. I'm going to keep my... See if I can zoom in and push this button at the same time. There it goes. Yeah, yeah. So to spin up, it's going to pull more than 100 watts to spin up. But then it gets to a steady state. Which is about 70 watts on high. Yeah. So for the for the look and feel of this fan, uh, I think it's totally worth 50, 50, 60 watts to run this. Anyway, I wanted to share how to fix uh, an oscillating vintage fan like this Hunter Zephyr, and it will go back into the corner over there where Layla will, my dog, will enjoy it. All right, bye, folks. Hope this helps other people.